Borders and shading can be applied to paragraphs, charts, tables, images, and other types of objects within Microsoft Word. In this video, I will demonstrate how to apply a border and shade to a paragraph. To add a border, select your text. I'm pointing at the Borders button right here. I'm going to click the drop down arrow next to the Border button, and I'm going to select Outside Border. You'll notice that the border goes around the entire line. To remove a border, select your text, click the drop down arrow next to the border button, then select no border. And now the border has been removed. If you want to customize your border a little bit more, select your text, go into the drop down arrow next to the border button, select borders and shading. In this area, you'll have to select the setting that you'd like. I'm going to select box. In the style section, you would scroll through and select the line style that you'd like. In this section, you can select the color of the line that you would like. And in this section, you can select how thick you want the width of the line. Notice the preview area. Whatever you see on this side is what will happen inside of your document. For example, if I click on these lines here, I would only have a bottom border. I can click back, and again, I have my box border. This section in Apply To will let you determine if you want it to be around the entire paragraph, which in this case is just one line, or if you just want it around the outside of the text. I'm going to go ahead and select Paragraph, and then OK. I'd be able to customize my text by centering it and making it stand out then a little bit more. Now, if you really want to make this pop, you would add a little bit of shading. To add shading, you'll select your text, go up to the shading button, select the drop down arrow, pick a light shade that would allow your text to stand out. To remove shade, you would select your text, go back up to the shade button, you would select no color, and that would remove the shade. I'm going to go ahead and select my text again because I want to give you one more little tip. If you click the drop down arrow next to your borders button and you select the borders and shading option, in this area you'll also notice that there's a shading tab and I can go to the fill color and I can select a fill color that I'd like. Notice the preview area here and I can select OK. You'll notice that it makes a difference in how you select your text. If you point towards your text from the selection bar, it's basically selecting the entire line, which means if you apply a shading, it is going to go across the entire line. And if you apply a border, it will go across the entire page. Whereas if I simply double click on an area and only select that word and I apply shade and a border, it only goes around that area. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel.